people, I did say that Octagon 55 would be special, and I'm not usually the type of guy to say, I told you so, but I f***ing told you so. Before Octagon 55 on Saturday night, Stuttgart was famous for many things as the automotive hub of Germany, the birthplace of Mercedes and Porsche for its production of world-class wines and of course as a city steeped in culture and history with world-class opera and ballet. But after Saturday night, you can screw that all up, chuck it in the bin because now Stuttgart will be known for holding one of the most spectacular Octagon events in the promotion's history. Octagon 55 had it all, from big KOs, outrageous submissions, and bloody battles. Plus a spectacular crowd in the sold out Hans Martin Haller who delivered an electric atmosphere for our gladiators and for our debut in Stuttgart. Many big statements were made that night. Mikhail Diegeshek shocked the crowd with this KO. Oh, there you go. Mate Kertes was outstanding as he claimed the finish over German Nicholas Stolzer. Mate Kertes from the side, looking for the finish, he's got it! He's done it! Alexander Popet looked reborn as he took out the American Grizzly Jeremy Kimball in one this round. Is that is it, Popek is back! Baby <laughs> Mama, aka the silent killer Lucia Svabova, dominated the very game Dr. Rosa Gumina and showed us that her finishing instinct was still there as she claimed the submission finish in the dying seconds of round number three. That makes her 7 and 0 in MMA with six wins by finish, four of those coming by way of armbar. But maybe the most impressive of all was the Albanian eagle, Orion Topalaya. He faced his toughest test, the most experienced and the most decorated fighter to stand in front of him inside the cage, plus a man who was out to avenge the loss from his teammate to the same man, Carol Bombay Rishave. And Topalaya did this. That win came in just 36 seconds and earned him the performance of the night bonus, an extra 5,000 euros. So with two back-to-back -back wins with two first round finishes, you would think that it might be quite hard to find the featherweight on the Octagon roster that would want that fight. Well, you didn't have to look too far from the cage to see one who seemed to quite fancy it. Shemrock, of course, has serious business ahead of him that will see him step into the cage to face Stefano Catacoli in Birmingham on April 20th. But should he pass that test, I think we've pretty much got the promo for the next Top Elias scrap. The performance of the night was certainly impressive, but Stuttgart may have also delivered us the walkout of the year. <laughs> thousand five hundred people were on their feet in great voice to welcome their hero a man from their city and a man of the people Christian Youngworth in one word incredible the main event lived up to the atmosphere as both Youngworth and Pukach treated us to a five round war Youngworth delivered the pressure we were expecting but he also showed some new developments in his game as he grappled his way to victory you heard me right grappled his way to victory a victory that kicked off the party in Stuttgart on the mic Christian Youngworth laid down a challenge to his namesake and the other huge star in Germany on the scene Christian Ecklin as he said why don't we bring the football rivalry of Stuttgart and Frankfurt to the cage now if only we had an event big enough to host something like that well, in Stuttgart, we quite literally made a huge announcement as we dropped the news that Octagon won't just be doing one football stadium this year. We will become the first European promotion ever to host two football stadium events in one 
calendar year. The first of those two football stadiums will be on June the 8th in Eden in the Czech Republic in what is already building to be an awesome card topped by the rematch of the century. Vimola versus V2 plus our welterweight eliminator bouts and two bouts from the million euro tip sport game changer tournament. That will see 27,000 fans come together which is already pretty big but the next stadium event will be bigger than ever. On October 12th at Octagon 62, we are heading back to the city where our German adventure began, the city of Frankfurt. And this time, we are holding a tournament in the world famous Eintracht Football Stadium, a stadium which holds 55,000 fans. That will make this one of the biggest events, not only in the history of Octagon, not only in European MMA, but also one of the biggest MMA events ever to happen in the history of the sport. I'll say it again, 55,000 fans. Now, if you're into maths, that is six times bigger than the Festhalle, um, four times bigger than what you've just tuned into in Stuttgart, and over two times bigger than our record-breaking event in Cologne, which sold over 20,000 seats. Now, if you're not into maths, then that is just bloody insane. For your chance to be there and to be part of history, you can sign up to pre-register for tickets at octagonmma.com. We have gone from 9,000 fans in the Fest Halle to 55,000 fans in the Eintracht Stadium in less than three years. In the UK, our adventure has just begun and it makes me wonder just how far we will go in another three years. Well, if you are a UK fan and you want a taste of Octagon, then you can come to Birmingham. Join us on April 20th for Octagon 56. And here is a little taste of what you can expect. The path he has walked through life has not been easy. From living with cystic fibrosis to overcoming cancer. His return and rise in MMA has already made him a champion of the people. Inspirational Aaron A.B. will once again look to become Octagon Champion. He will have to face one of the best flyweights on the planet, a former Cage Warriors Champion and a man who's already defeated A.B. in the cage, Samurai Kwesi, who will leave Birmingham with Octagon Gold. This is a fight that sees North versus South, Liverpool versus London, and this is for all the bragging rights. Shining star Shemrock is back. I'm calling to everyone. Versus the ghost, Stefano Catacoli. Highly anticipated quarterfinals of the million euro tip sport game changer tournament. And after a knock you out in round one, I bounce a Jaffa cake off your coach's head. <laughs> How about that? The UK representative Akon won this, takes on Swedish number one, Siraj. Irish warrior Will Flurry against the dangerous number five ranked DD Sport. This moment electric. The king of trash talk, Dennis the Menace Frimpong. The UK's biggest MMA prospect and the Octagon Challenge champion. Saints! And also featuring local talent from Birmingham's renowned Renegade Gym, Amari Deirdrick and Liam Etabar. Oh! April 20th. Octagon 56 in the Resorts World Arena in Birmingham. Get your tickets now at theticketfactory.com. Title fights, grudge matches, North versus South and much more. The card is set and ready and you can be there from just £47. So get your tickets at theticketfactory.com. Over the next few weeks, Octagon Hype right here will count down towards that event with some special content to get you ready for April 20th. So, stay tuned.